my sustainability project was essentially remapping canvas, or and um, actually geomapping and improving canvas maps. <laughs> so what is geomapping? <laughs> geomapping is adding geographical reference data to GPS data. So you have um, your GPS data and you add um, like a topographical, you know, topographical map over it so you have references to where these GPS points are and if they're, um, so they're not just in space. Okay. So I worked with um, two French um, interns here. Um, one was Carl Sigmund, um, who is the media and technology uh, intern here. And the other one is Tom VOGH. Um, and Carl was um, extremely helpful in getting this process started, um, a lot with the finding things where Tom and I didn't necessarily know where they were. And Tom was um, extremely helpful in that he had been doing, he had done uh, GIS data analysis before. So data collection, we used or tried using a Garmin GPS unit, which the school um, had in the technolo technology closet, um, and we also used uh, Tom's iPhone running uh, Map My Run. We had access to the um, previously created maps. Last year's sustainability project was also geomapping canvas. And they, I believe that they had done solely the south trails. Um, and their data collection was spotty. <laughs> <laughs> um, I was in contact with Riley, who I am still not entirely sure of his role. I've been told that he was a um, friend in residence, that he was had some other titles as well. Um, and I can't get anybody to agree on what his titles were. All of you love. <laughs> and I was also in contact with Jacob, who was the previous environmental science teacher. On the left is um, the amended use permit site plan for the woman's school, Sierra Friends Center. Um, and I don't have a phrase laser pointer, but um, the thing that's outlined in blue is, I think, what's been permitted for building on, and the green is undeveloped. Um, and the building that we're in is somewhere in the sort of central. Yeah. Then the map on the bottom is the data that um, last year's sustainability project had gathered, and the one on top is the same um, sustainability project data with my overlay on top of it. Okay, um, and I have several next steps because I'm not completely done with this project. I'd like to recollect data for all the trails to try to make them more accurate. Um, and this isn't, at, and I'd like to overlay an aerial photograph of the line, which was done. Um, and one of the ideas I had had was using a Google Maps uh, satellite image for the overlay. And um, Carl had mentioned at one point making an interactive online map. So being able to have this map on a computer and click on specific locations on the map and then have information about that location and stories about that place come up. Red for some maps 
of the trails on campus. And I ended up having to use three separate maps to try and piece together the, um, what the trails were and where they went and how they connected up with all the others. Um, so that was kind of uh, where this project idea came from. And um, hopefully this will, having a good map of the campus trails will allow students to be able to go out more and uh, explore without having as much of a fear of getting lost. <laughs> uh, are there any questions? Did you actually go around all over campus doing this? I did. Uh, Tom, Carl, and I um, did a good portion of the um, trails. And I can show you what I have. So, um, the blue line is Miner's Ditch, or uh, the Swale. Um, red, I believe, are roads, because, um, and green is trails. Um, that blackish color <laughs> is roads, and the yellow dotted thing is trails. So that's... Um, the data overlaid onto a topographical map. And then we also have overlaid a um, aerial photograph of campus. Of and 
So um, there are recognizable points on campus with this photograph. And then, so that's all three layers of data overlaid. Yeah, my sustainability project. Yeah.